Guys, these are the type of games I love. What's up, everybody? It's your host, Claire Jagoon. And guys, in today's PUBG Mobile video, this is this. I'm playing with my buddy Cheddar in this type of game, guys. This particular game that we played uh, actually last night uh, is the type of matches that I love. This has uh, short range action, it has long range action, uh, it has medium range action, but in the end, it has action a lot of action. And that's what, and at the end, you know, me and Cheddar were like, yeah, you know, we clutched it. So that's it. Oh, uh, spoiler, we do clutch it. So this is the type of game, guys, that I love when it all comes together. All the pieces of the puzzle come together. Of course, maybe I can think of a better title. I don't know. But I don't I don't know yet. But look right there, guys. I drop and I get an M416 right off the bat. Holy smokes. Life is good right now. All I need right now is a two times vest and helmet. And I swear, like, it you know, it'd be the best day ever. So I hear people landing. Listen to them. All right, Nimpachinki, guys. Sound is key. And this guy obviously had no... He had no idea what just happened. And just watch this. Just watch this, guys. I'm going to stack them up in that room here in a minute. So, so, you know, a five-five-six round will not penetrate a window seal. Let's let's just put that in the logic. These guys, this not a this is a nice weapon. I have no idea what these guys are doing. What are you doing, bruh? I don't think they realize where I am. Yeah, they don't. They don't know where I'm at. They're looking the wrong way. It's incredible. It's incredible. So I just got a stack of kills right there, guys, just due to incompetence uh, by this team. But I'm going to push them with 12 rounds in an M16 right now. Yep, there you go. And I need some bullets. I mean, I need some bullets right now. Give me some bullets. Come on, bro. Oh, I need this AK right now. Give me that AK. Give me some bullets. All right, listen to this guy. Cheddar. Cheddar gets a knock right there. Very nice, Cheddar. You're not escaping, Pachinki, bro. You are not. And your squad mates suck for leaving you out here to us. They suck, bro. That's all I'm saying, Jamal. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, look at this guy. Nah. Maybe that... That might have been Jamal's uh, playing partner there. He, he just didn't make it. He didn't make it. They are not going to... They can go back to the airport. Go to the next game. It'll be fine. Right here, we leave Pachinki, and we are near Disco Mountain. And if you guys don't know where Disco Mountain is, this is where it's at. More than likely, that's going to get this video demonetized. But hey, I had to have fun with that. That was is fun. Is someone shooting? Yes, there is someone. Sh someone is shooting. And they're behind us. As you see that guy levitating in the sky, I, I tell Cheddar not to shoot. And then he shoots. So now, we are out in the middle of a field in a red zone. And they know where we're at. And Cheddar is knocked. 
Yeah. So now I'm going to pick Cheddar up. Quit laughing at him, Jordan. And we're risking dying right here, guys. This is what I'm saying. This is, I mean, life and limb. Every minute of this game is incredible. It's this is, it's just ridiculous right now. I, I'm just like, me and Cheddar are just loving every minute of this. There's two squads up there fighting. We're in a dirty third party him right here. And I got a suppressed M416. And they don't, they have no idea. It's like, oh, did you see that guy get run over? To, oh, man, that was crazy. Cheddar steals my kill right there. Dag on it, Cheddar. Get out of here. All right, so I'm going to push up, guys. Cheddar's got my six. He's actually sniping. So I'm going to move up and kind of get my assault rifles in range. I'm just looking for Mr. Jeep guy. Oh, there he is. Oh, hello. <laughs> Thank you, Chuck. I appreciate it, bud. All right, so right now, we still have remnants of that team. Now, that team eliminated another team with us, and we actually all worked together there, unfortunately, for the other team, uh, and eliminated them. And now... I'm getting pushed. And look at these guys. Look at these guys. I love this aggression. Yeah, yeah. Now, you guys got to sit down, bro. I definitely see dead people right now. They're, they're sitting here in front of me. Uh, and they can head on back to the airport and work out what not to do in that situation next time. All right, so, oh, my God, it's an arm. It's an arm. And I'm out of bullets with my M4. I would really like to have this arm. But where are the bullets for it? That's the thing. It's almost like that guy grabbed the arm. And there was just no bullets for it, maybe. I don't know. So we still got people, I think, on the on the cliff face, possibly. All right, so right there, Cheddar gives me some uh, M416 or some 5.56 ammo. But he tells me about the arm, and I'm just like, should I get this arm? But then I was like, where's the ammo? And then I realized that the blue's pushing. So I'm like, Cheddar, there's no, where's the bullets? So we we're, were thinking, you know, we'll find those bullets somewhere. No. No, that was a complete waste of loot right there. And I get hit right here. I, I'm literally not even paying attention. So now... We're going to go deal with those guys on that mountain. Oh, that guy's pissed. He is pissed. I like that. He's, he's looking at me. He's not looking at Cheddar. That's a great thing. But now he goes behind, and I'm going to move. It's my turn to move. He's trying to get the looks on me. He can't do it. I'm moving too fast. Guess what, bro? It was at this moment. Yes, you did. You messed up, bro. <laughs> I think he knew at that moment he messed up. Uh, indeed. All right, guys. We're hitting down to the end game right here. There is uh, uh, seven players left for me and Cheddar to claim victory. And we're going to get into the long-range game here. A little bit. A little bit right here. You'll see Dragoon sniping here. Look at there. Oh, there's the Canada. So there's a little headshot there. I can't finish him off, but at least his helmet is probably worse for wear. Now pay attention to what we do here, guys. And Cheddar is going to cover me, and I'm like, Cheddar, uh, we probably need to get across this water. The circle is going to close us out on this side of the bridge. I don't want to run across the bridge. So if you'll cover me, I'm going to swim, and I'll cover you on the other side. That was the conversation, basically. And so Cheddar agrees. And 
and he found another uh, another target behind us. So I'm like, man, we gotta go. We're gonna get pinned up, and here I go. This is always risky, guys. You never know what's gonna happen when you're swimming. You could be, uh, you know, picked off quite easily. This is a bad spot. And Cheddar's like, they're pushing Goon. I'm like, I'm swimming. I'm swimming. <laughs> so, right now I'm going to get up on the bank. And I'm going to tell Cheddar to come on. I'm going to take a position here and try to get some eyes on the gas station. Now, obviously, guys, the gas station is a good spot. It is a compound. And so... You know, there's not a lot of cover where we're at, so we want to take that gas station. And indeed we are. That's what's going to happen. Now there's some Jeeps over there and stuff, and I told Cheddar about it. I was like, Cheddar, we got to... We got a buggy over here, and I think there was a bike beside the buggy, and uh, I wasn't too happy about that. But I got some smokes, and I'm going to smoke them up here in a minute. And that's going to give us a little bit of cover so we can move. And this is a textbook assault right here, guys. We'll use that cover of smoke to be able to get some cover behind a tree here. And look at this guy. We got a guy right here. I don't know what that guy was shooting at, but it wasn't us. And Cheddar's taking him down right here surgically. And I just got shot at from behind. So we have people, of course, behind us. Little little snakes. Now I'm just trying to find a little snaky poos that shot at us from behind. Don't forget to take your vitamins before a fight. We know we're about to fight here, guys. So, there you go. Now, the circle's tightened up here, guys, and, and there ain't so many places to hide right here. Cheddar seen movement over there. I got movement over here. I see him moving. I told Cheddar, hey, man, I got people coming. He's by those rocks. So, they are, they are basically trying to close in on us right here. And I'm going to use this this uh, door frame as <laughs> yeah I get too excited here for some reason it won't let me hit him there's a couple of shots yeah yeah there's a couple of shots I should have had that guy but I'm gonna push him I told Cheddar he he had the spot on the other guy I told him to keep his eye on him and I'm gonna push this guy and eliminate him And what's funny, guys, is I'm gonna I'm gonna get this guy right here and eliminate him. But those those other guys have moved up and allowed me to go behind them, and they're right there.
Indeed, indeed, Dr. Disrespect. But guys, uh, that's going to wrap it up. Unfortunately, um, you know, those guys in the end, uh, they weren't overly aggressive and they allowed me and Cheddar to just kind of push the pace and eliminate them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. This is the kind of games that I love, guys. These type of, you know, short range and long range, medium range. It's got it all, guys. Uh, knocks, excitement. This is, this is what I live for when I play PUBG right here. This is what I want in every game. Of course, we don't get that every game, but we get it like this from time to time in a game. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Leave a like on the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're not. And definitely, definitely get in those comments, guys. I want to see what you want to see. Let me know if you got some video ideas. And with that being said, I'm out of here.